Well, howdy diddly dandy there. Chums, behind me is a trailer. A trailer of a game that I'm really looking forward to playing. It's called Towers of Ashkabar. And I'm going to hit play on this. Let's uh, make myself a little bit smaller on the screen. And I'm going to be talking over it. So I'm just going to turn the volume down a little. I put the full video inside the video description. Just making sure that it's at the highest quality possible. And let's hit play. Now, I'm thoroughly looking forward to playing a game called Light No Fire by Hello Games. And I feel that this game will fill that void until it comes out. A land where the echoes of your ancestors still linger. Once a thriving home to the Shimu tribe, it was all but completely deadened by the eruption of the dark, withered force. It has dark cloud causing its vibes. inhabitants to flee. As the descendants of the original Shimu, you have returned to Agaspa and stand at the threshold of an epic adventure. To restore this land to its former glory, rebuild your ancestors' civilization and discover the origin of the cursed withered force. You will breathe new life into Agaspa, forging a legacy for all future time. Towers of Agaspa is no ordinary sandbox. It's a vivid, deeply felt journey in which memorable characters and emotional storylines gently guide you toward uncovering the island's many secrets. It's like never ending As story. As you the barren landscape back to flourishing life, you'll be able to harvest the resulting resources, in turn, fueling the reconstruction of Shimu civilization. Dark cloud. Each decision you make will help shape the forests, groves, villages, and very soul of Agasba. Bit of Zelda, Lost Boys from Peter Pan. Nature and human progress are inextricably linked, their delicate balance ensuring the fulfillment of your vision. The land of Agasba oh, is one of striking ecological diversity. Several distinct biomes, though decimated by the withered, still hold the promise of teeming life. The key to unlocking this potential lies in the origin of all Agasban life, the mighty colossal tree. Once sprouted, this great tree will attract all manner of fantastical flora, which in turn will attract creatures of all disposition and proportion. Harmony between these budding ecosystems and your nascent civilization is essential. While exploitation of the land may promise swift gains. Looks beautiful. Bring it on. Music's True okay. Progress lies in patience and care. <laughs> I love the creature design, I love the world. I like the actual cosmetics on the characters. Very Lost Boy-esque, like I said earlier. This looks awesome. Yep, comes out this month, November. As the land heals, its bounty will help you strengthen your tribe, the once triumphant Shimu people. The Great Midhaven, at one time a glorious wow. metropolis, now lies in ruins. Your mission, Restore it structure by structure, providing a proud and safe home for the Shimu. All nearby like arid building. regions are sure to hold valuable minerals, while nearby temperate zones promise fertile areas for farming. Building villages in each of Agaspa's many biomes will be essential cool. to your survival. Diversifying and managing the resources your villages produce will unlock the full potential of this land, enabling your tribe to reach heights even grander than those of your ancestors. They don't build it brick by brick or wall by wall. It's looks like prefab building, Along but Along the way, cool. you'll encounter a host of eccentric characters and ancient gods, <laughs> each with their own wants, needs, and tales to tell. Venture forth into the varied living landscapes of Agaspa, where towering spires oh. and deep canyons hold wow. meaningful treasures. Ancient Shimu ruins lie scattered across the island, each one an additional key to understanding and accepting your past. As you restore these structures, you'll unlock valuable crafting recipes and contribute to a grand museum of Shimu knowledge. 
weaving together the history of your people with the bright future you are building toward. Amidst this shining beauty lies a bitter scar, the calcified withered lands. These corrupted realms, devoid of life but filled with toxic energy, stand in stark contrast to the thriving ecosystems they border. Only through bravely charting a course into the heart of this darkness can you begin to heal these afflicted lands and liberate the vibrant earth stifled beneath. This looks epic. I think this is going to be a hidden gem for this year. Honestly do. I'm excited for this. Very excited. The combat looks great too. Shadow of the Colossus-esque, perhaps. In the fantastical world of Towers of Agasba, your creativity will be both challenged and rewarded. You nice. rise over 150 decorative items to make your settlements uniquely your own. Love it. Love it. Take my money. They already have. I've already pre-ordered this on my PlayStation. I went for PlayStation because I've got a few friends that are also interested in this on PlayStation. Wow. The vistas, the distance draw, if in-game is like what we're seeing here, fantastic. Now this is early access, so it's not the complete game, so going in... Each island will be a distinct reflection of that player's personality and playstyle. Join us for early access launch and enter a go. passionate community that thrives on collaboration and imagination. So there Together, might be bugs. we will shape the future of a gas bomb, nurturing a land replete with beauty and potential while celebrating the power and pure joy of collective creativity. I'm all up for that journey, you know, reporting stuff or trying to shape its future. This sounds very much like how No Man's Sky was. You've seen No Man's Sky now to when it launched. All on board with that. As long as the grind isn't like having a second job. You know, I, I picked up Nightingale because it looked amazing. It ticked all the right boxes. But that turned out to be a second job for me. This looks like it could be chilled, relaxed and fantasy style to the point where I'm going to really enjoy this. I hope. I hope it's not a grind fest. Let's see. November 19th. Can't wait for that to come along, people inside the Viewerverse. So, hopefully that's put that on your radar, people. Um, I'm hoping it has, anyhow. I'm trying to get this out of... No, um, there we go. Boom. So, yeah. Towers of a Gasper by Dreamlit Studios. Go hit up their channel on YouTube. Take a look at some of their other videos. Uh, maybe go and check it out on the store page for your desired console. It's coming to PlayStation and PC first. I think it's coming to Xbox shortly then on after. But yeah, take a look. Have a look. See, I can't, I'm not 100% sure on that, to be fair, on the Xbox status. But go check it out for your own platform. Anyway, until next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.